Hello, in this video, we continue to learn how to manage money using the book Richard Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This is video number 34. Join me. Hello, welcome to Take a Step to a Better You, a channel I started to share what I know and continue to learn. If you are new, my name is Sheripa Nakalima, I'm a business owner here in Virginia, USA. And on this channel, I talk about business tips, YouTube tips, and money online tips, that's affiliate marketing. And I talk about my motivation. My message on this channel is to ask you to take a step to make your life better. Recently, I added great books. Today, um, this class, uh, will continue. It's been, uh, this video number 34, actually, we started, I started this over a month ago. And uh, this is Rich Dad, Poor Dad. We go in detail. I read the book. We share the lessons. So please, if any of that sounds interesting, if if changing our life, making it better, uh, you want to support that message, please consider subscribing and sharing and leaving a comment, especially that one. Even if you don't believe uh, in this, please, at least leave me a comment before you leave. And for those of you who have already believed, Appreciate you very much. It could have been somewhere else. You chose to be here. And we continue our lessons and learning how to manage money. Taking these lessons seriously, I'm hoping. And I hope, I'm hoping you're subscribed. Today I'm going to update you about our goal of 10,000 subscribers on this channel. I'm also going to talk about, uh, he introduced the cash flow game. So I found this book. Uh, I found it. I'm going to share something about that was the cash flow game at that time. Although now he changed it a little bit. So that will be at the end. But, uh, and also, if you are new, this book, you can get it free uh, audio for a month. And also I'll share how you get to all the videos that are finished and also my schedule on this channel. But at the end, because there are people who come back here every day just to follow the book. So I'll share more at the end, including uh, where we are with the 10,000 uh, subscriber goal. So video number 34, and it's lesson five. The book has six lessons, lesson five, and that's the rich event money. We started on it, we're continuing. Uh, but before I continue, I have to remind everyone, especially the new people who Robert Kiyosaki is, Robert Kiyosaki is a self-made millionaire, entrepreneur, educator, inventor with a mission to elevate the financial well-being of humanity, starting with one life and one person at a time. That person could be you, could be me, could be anyone. And when you see me reading, it means I took notes from the book. And he called it Rich Dad, Poor Dad because he had two dads. Actually, the one he called the Poor Dad was his real dad. And this, this was a, a very intelligent man. He finished a four-year degree in just two years in the scholarship. He went on to fin finish his PhD. And he was a superintendent of education, but he ended up uh, dying broke. But then the rich dad, is a, a dad to his friend Mike, they met age nine. And he started learning at age nine. We, we went through all this in this book. And this is a man who left school at age 13, eighth grade, but ended up to be one of the wealthiest men in Hawaii. So when he shared lessons, he told Robert, Robert, that's how he learned to become a millionaire. And now he's sharing in, in the book, and we are taking the lessons very seriously. I'm hoping you keep coming back, especially those you who are coming back. Please, let's take it seriously. Okay. Uh, lesson, no, videos, uh, lesson five, the rich invent money. We ended video number 33 when Robert, I took out some notes so we don't have to read too much. Uh, just to remind you where we ended. In 33, Robert had talked about his cash flow game. I remember that lady who played and thought it was, uh, at first he thought it was a useless game, but then she realized it's actually a serious game. And then uh, he, Robert said that just like a board game, the world is always providing us with instant feedback. Like, yeah, it also gave him feedback that he was gaining weight. Remember, he was blaming uh, the people who watched his, his 
his clothes. He said uh, that shrunk it, but actually he was the one gaining weight. That's where we ended. Now I'm continuing video number 34. I'm not going to make it too long because I, I want to mention something about the, that cash flow gain. I promised yesterday in the other video. Okay. 34. Robert is continuing to write. The cash flow gain was de designed to give every player personal feedback. Its purpose is to give you options. If you draw the board card and it puts you in debt, the question is, now, what can you do? How many different financial options can you come up with? That is the purpose of the game, to teach players to think and create new and various financial options. Thousands of people throughout the world have played this game. The players who get out of the rat race the quickest are the people who understand the numbers and have creative financial minds. They recognize the difference, uh, the different financial options. Rich people are often creative and take calculated risks. People who take the longest are people who are not familiar with the numbers and often do not understand the power of investing. Some people playing the cash flow game have accumulate lots of money in the game, but they don't know what to do with it. Even though they have the money, everyone else seems to be getting ahead of them. And that's true in real life. There are a lot of people who have a lot of money and do not get ahead financially. Limiting your option is the same as hanging on to old ideas. I have a friend from high school who now works at three jobs. Years ago, he was the richest of all my classmates. When the local sugar plantation closed, the company he worked for went down with the plantation. In his mind, he had but one option, and that was the old option, work hard, uh, work hard. The problem was uh, that he couldn't find an equivalent job that recognized his seniority from the old company. As a result, he is overqualified for the job he currently has. So his salary is lower. He now works three jobs to earn enough to survive. I've watched people playing cash flow, uh, this cash flow game complain that the right opportunity cards are not coming their way. So they sit there. I know people who do that in real life. They wait for the right opportunity. I have watched people get the right opportunity card and, and then not have enough money. Then they complain that they would have gotten out of the rat race if they had had more money. So they sit there. I know people in real life who do that also. They see all the great deals, but they have no money. And I have also uh, seen people pull a great opportunity card, read it out loud, and have no idea that it's a great opportunity. They have the money, the time is right, they have the card, but they can't see the opportunity starting them, staring them in the face. They fail to, to see if it fits into their financial plan for escaping the rat race. And I know more people like that than all the others combined. I mean, it means in real life, people who are like that. Most people have an opportunity of a lifetime flash right in front of them and they fail to see it. A year later, they find out about it and the everyone else got rich. Financial intelligence is simply having more options. If the opportunities aren't coming your way, what else can you do to improve your financial position? If an opportunity lands in your lap and you have no money and the bank won't talk to you, what else can you do to get the opportunity to work in your favor? If your hunch is wrong and what you've been counting on doesn't happen, how can you turn a lemon into a million into millions? That is financial intelligence. It is not so much what happens, but how many different financial solutions you can think of to turn a lemon into millions. It's how creative you are in solving financial problems. Most people only know one solution. Work hard, save, borrow. So why would you want to increase your financial intelligence? 
because you want to be the kind of person who creates your own luck. I'm about to finish. You take whatever happens and make it better. Few people realize that luck is created just as money is. And if you want to be luckier and create money instead of working hard, then your financial intelligence is important. If you are the kind of person who, who is waiting for the right thing to happen, you might wait for a long time. It's like waiting for a, the traffic lights to be green for five miles before you start your trip. Before you start driving, you wait for all the lights to be green. Wow, that will take forever. Okay, that's the end of my reading. Uh, but he has a note, and, and the note is about this game. So he says that games, the reason he uses games to, to teach people, games reflect behavior. They are instant feedback systems. So, but then he has another note. He asked me to go play the cash flow game on, on the on the internet. But I went there and saw that, you know me, I saw this game when it was in board, like it was a, it was a board game. Like the way you see uh, games like, uh, what? Is it Monopoly? The games where you, you, they're board. Like it, was a, it used to be a board game when he first started it. But then later he made it into a, a, a CD. Like see this book? When it became a CD, I had the CD game, the one where you just put the CD in the computer and play. And this book here has the instructions. But I wanted you to get a feel of what uh, this game is about. I'm going to mention a little bit. But I think what I'll go, when I went to that website, I saw that it was moving so fast. When you're not familiar with the old game, I don't think you can play it. I don't know. I'll take some time, maybe study, and maybe record a video about it. And then at that time, I would recommend it. Right now, I don't. Because I felt like it was going so fast. If you went there, it would be like rushing too much. So you have to, like this book here, let me give you just an idea what this game was about. Because this is a booklet that came with a CD. I would like to find it today. This was some time ago. I think I was playing this game around maybe like 2005, like sometime, sometime ago when I first got to know him. Uh, so this is the game has rules. It has a part where you are, we call it the rat race. And he said the rat race, it represents you having to work for someone else. So your goal is to get out of that rat race and go to, to get into the fast track. So like when you are working on that, in that game, you keep going like this, like, like a real rat. It's like going in circles, whatever you do, you keep staying on. But then when you make a good decision, you get out of the rat race. So he said, we're getting out of the rat, in get out, in order to get out of the rat race, I'm reading now. Your passive income must be greater than your total expenses. That's the biggest lesson I learned from Robert. Like if you are, I'll give an example in the previous videos. If you are, you have rental income, for example, you have renting out properties, you bought enough properties, you get out maybe $300 here, a thousand there. Then you add it up and the amount of rent you collect, the, the net profit is in equivalent to your expenses. So you just go collect the rent and pay your bills. Then that's the only way you can get out of the rat race. I mean, to, to be like free. So. That's the only way you play the game and get out. So he's showing, he say, congratulations, you get out of the fast track. Now you're moving so fast. So what has happened uh, on the fast track is where the rich play the game. Once you move on to the fast track, you are financially free and can just uh, about, uh, can just, you can buy just about anything you want. But when you are there, everything is expensive. Everything changes. It's very exciting, actually. When you, you play the game and get on the fast track, it's like flying first class You're on an airplane when you are, you've never been in first class. You say, what? It's like so different. So uh, in this game, you are given a job. So you, you pick a job that comes. In fact, it's, I think, random. You could be a teacher. You could be a lawyer. You could be all those games, in real, I mean, jobs in real life. And then they give you a salary, uh, depending on what the profession you are in, in the game. 
and then you start playing with the money. That's how you got. So then it shows you where the income will go, the expenses will go, the assets and liabilities, and then things post themselves. Like as you earn money, it goes where the money goes. And it balances out, and then it shows you what's going on. So at some point, you could become bankrupt. And when you go bankrupt, your paycheck is negative. You're not making money anymore, and you don't have enough cash on hand to cover expenses. So you declare like bankruptcy. It just shows up uh, when you don't have any money left. And then uh, on the as you're playing, remember like uh, the the lady, she got a baby. Like you get a baby. You could get many babies by the way that game. It was fun. Like you ha just had a baby. You're still figuring out how to pay for this baby, and then you get another one. Like how it will happen in your life. And then uh, you get downside sometimes. Like you lose a job. And charity, you have to, you are forced to actually to give in that game. You have to donate some money. And then opportunities come. Like they show you, okay, now there's a house to buy over here. And then you have to look at your bank account to see how much you have. It was actually a good game now, I remember. So, and then those doodads. The doodad is, uh, these are items which most people spend their money on. But they are, they are mandatory, by the way, in that game. When the do that comes, you cannot say no. And uh, you may pay, but the, you have the option to pay with your cash you have, or you can borrow, or you can, like, uh, you can use a credit card. So all the things that you are doing them, it's like real life. How do you make a decision? Whether to use a credit card, or to use cash, or to borrow, or so like that. That's how the game is. And then you win by getting off. Of, of and then you get like here as mentioned you get like a tax audit and then sometimes you get a divorce or you get a lawsuit so it's it's fun but I think the way he has it now I don't know that you can play it without all this information it's moving already moving so quick I said how do you slow it down I don't know if they have a speed a different speed to put it on I thought it was so fast so I'm not recommending it now but if you want it's on richdad.com you have to register. You have to register and become a member to be able to play it for free. But I think, and then the board game is only available to those people in USA only. USA only. I think at some point I'll figure out a way to show this game somehow. Uh, here, in my video, somehow. We'll see. Remind me, if you, you are interested and I'm not recording, to go back and study it and then maybe explain it more in a video so you can really have fun with it. I hope you have an idea of what I just said, okay? So I'm done with the lesson today, but I have to mention for those people who just came. In fact, let me end that with that. Let me first mention that uh, the numbers we have on our 10,000 uh, subscribers. I read uh, 9974. So we had 26 left before I sat down here. I'm recording this late in the night, in the night of Thursday, uh, so, no, you are like in the night of Thursday, but not yet morning for you. You're going to watch this in my 11 a.m. USA time, but I'm recording it at night. So, hopefully by that time, we'll have more of those numbers, 26 left. And my hope is that by Friday, we'll have the 10K. And I want to invite you, all of you, live, so we celebrate together. And then, that means I'll have finished my smart goal of getting 10,000 at least. And then I want to focus on you. You come, we set up some smart goals, big goals for you also. Um, you support me, I support you. Especially those with YouTube channels. But even at home, anywhere you are, come live, we want to go over smart, smart goals. How you set a smart goal for yourself. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be a money goal. Anything. Live, we're going to go over smart goals. That's Friday. For those of you who are new here, I record videos daily. 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. That's when they come out as premieres. Please come support them. And for those of you who are already supporting them, I appreciate you. A video is supported better if you find it on a premiere. And you come and join it, give it some action. So 11 a.m. U.S. Eastern Time. I do books. But then on, uh, on that same 11 a.m. on Friday, I come live. And then 11.30 on Thursdays and on Sunday. On, on Thursdays, I come after the books, 11.30, I do YouTube tips or business tips. 
That's for Thursday. And then on Sunday, I come again for motivation. That's what I do here. If you want to get this book, I have a link in the uh, description, description, but I also I pin a link in the pin in the comment. The top comment is mine. It has a link to Amazon, but it goes through my website, honestsoul.com. And you see podcasts and Audible. You click on that. You go, but make sure you're choosing. Uh, it's called uh, Audible. Audible uh, Premium Plus. That's where you search for it. That for that. You get it for free. They'll give you a credit for one month free. If you want the real physical copy, still, that link, you click and get on my website. And you get an image like this. You click on it, you buy. The other thing I haven't mentioned, how do you get to all the videos we finished? This is number 34. Up 33, they're all in one link. You click, it's a playlist, lesson from Robert Kiyosaki. It's everywhere. At the end of this video, end screen, uh, description box, and also a linked comment, and also on the playlist. You click, and it takes you to all the videos we finished. That's it for today. Please, leave a comment. Uh, what do you think about Robert Kiyosaki? You see, he came a long way. Because when I remember all this stuff he was doing, he's done. The, the rich people make the money, but they still work hard. They work hard. Things don't come easy. Because he has a long journey, too. And by that time, he was a millionaire already, when he was doing the board game. He was trying to, to share what he knew. That's why he was doing all that stuff. Okay, leave a comment for me. Please come live tomorrow. Uh, of course, when you're watching this later, it won't be relevant. But for the people who are watching it as I'm premiering it, come on, on, on Friday. Let's set a smart goal for you. And hopefully, we'll be able to celebrate 10K. I don't know. I have 26 left. Hopefully. Um, check it. Have you subscribed? Check it. Maybe I'm talking to you. I haven't even supported this message. Please subscribe and invite more people. But for anyone subscribe to any channel, please don't just go to someone's channel and subscribe. You have to watch. If you don't, YouTube removes you. Within 24 hours, they'll remove you because they say you have to watch something. At least a minute before you choose to subscribe. So please, don't just subscribe. Watch a little bit. When you share with people, please ask them to watch for like a minute before they subscribe. I'm hoping they'll even watch longer because I think it's good information. Leave a comment, please. Like, uh, share, uh, and come tomorrow. Like I always end them, take very good care of yourself. Take very good care of your families. Take very good care of your health. Take a step a better you. Bye-bye.